Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I just wanted to do a really short video on something I discovered this week. Uh, it's basically how to use a, how to set up a button in Sheets that can send information to Zapier. Uh, I needed this because I wanted to send information um, actually in, uh, it was the link that I needed that I wanted to send in an email, but each person had a unique link in their email, which would basically get a response to say that person's read the email, sort of like a, a to be able to track and open uh, for something that I'm building. Um, and yeah, this is what I figured out. So I've got two methods. First method is uh, it involves just going over to Zapier, um, create a new Zap, then the trigger, you're gonna select catch hook and you are going to then select uh, webhooks by Zapier, catch hook, set it up. It's gonna give you this URL over here, then copy that URL and test trigger. Okay, so now you've got that URL, bring it over to Sheets, paste it in a, a cell, and then what you're gonna do is you can actually, you can put a question mark at the end, then ID uh, or whatever you wanna call the, the stuff. So I've got ID, name, surname, status, and I've just put that in and I've formatted it so that the URL comes out looking like this. Uh, for instance, there. So each one's got a different thing. Uh, uh, this guy's now name is Andy Blue. And if I click on this link, it's gonna open up a new tab. Okay, we can close that. Then I can go look, load some more requests. And there we go, Andy Blue past ID 112. And once you've got that in Zapier, there's like, infinite possibilities of things you can do. You can send an email, you can, uh, you know, you could have, if I had an email in there, I could do that. I could look that up in another API. Uh, it could be like an order number and then send the order number. Then it looks it up on WooCommerce, for instance, via a, another API, uh, looks for a spreadsheet, a row in another spreadsheet. So there's like millions of possibilities you can do with that. I actually just needed to go back into Sheets, um, but yeah. For instance, uh, there's there's millions of things you could do with that. Okay, now there's another method. Um, so you can change that and do whatever you like with that. And then also you can just copy the formula down and have each one, but you have to select for each, each sort of line. The next method uh, looks a little bit different. Maybe, I don't know, maybe slightly better, I guess. Uh, maybe a little bit harder to set up though. Um, what you do is you've got, the, I've got the same layout, uh, ID name, surname, status passed. Uh, let's change this to uh, uh, something like that, just so we have a different thing. And this was a little bit tricky to code out this uh, response. And this is what's gonna be sent in a API post. Uh, don't worry about it uh, just yet. Anyway, so you need, to, you need to get your data here. Then you have a, a thing where you get the code. Code it so it looks just like this. You have the curly brackets, then you have your field, and then your ID or your, you know, what you want as part of the field. Close that off, put that in there. And what's nice is you could also drag that down and then any data you would have that. But for now, this is just a one line and it's linked to sort of a button. Uh, then what you need to do is you need to get this thing, API connector, uh, there's a link below and create a go to add new and once you're in select post and then paste that url from uh, zapier here then is specifically i've got you can reference a cell which is in this case it's just referencing the single cell but you could actually reference a range the e2 to e20 or whatever and yeah, okay, and in that case, then you could run it just like that, and then it would put out a response saying it's successfully run there. Uh, let me just show you. So that's now gonna send the data, uh, basically what we did, but we don't have to click on it. So we're looking for a response here. Uh, there we go, great. Uh, last thing now is just to, what you can do is now we've got that, make sure to save. Then once you've saved, 
close this. Um, let's just change this now. Okay, and then what you want to do in this uh, in this cell, you're going to go import API, which is part of that plugin. It's a custom formula. Post to Zappy as the name of that API that we just created. And cell F2 is going to be our button. And basically, whenever there's a change in cell F2, it's going to run that API based on just, uh, just the cell, or actually, well, I suppose any ref range that's selected. So in this case, we've changed it, and all you would need to do is click there, and send. And then if we come here, load some more requests, there we go. In. So basically, I mean, for me, that's super handy. Uh, it's like the, the amount of things that I wish I'd known this. It's such like a simple thing. It's probably not the safest uh, because there's no like uh, certificates or anything like that, um, encryptions or anything like that. So uh, obviously just know what you're using it for. But I mean, that's as simple as it gets. And it's really handy of a way to like send specific data, especially if you use that second option where it's like, based on a button uh, or a cell change, which is really nice. So uh, if you guys enjoy this video, I try to do business tips to help your business get uh, better. And if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Peace guys.